In Creole Parametric, you can create a datum curve through a series of points or vertices. Let's take a look at how to do that. If I go to the datum drop-down menu, I can choose curve. We can create a curve from a cross-section, from an equation, or through points. When I click on that, we have a dashboard. Let's open up the placement feature over here. Now I can start selecting different points. And I'm gonna start by selecting this point over here and then another point. I'm just picking them one by one. You can see how my curve is being developed over here. I'll click another one and then this one over here. Right now, it is connecting all the points between each other with a spline. You can change to straight line. You'll see how this, this segment got a straight line over here. I can select another point in the list and also change that one to being a straight point, so forth and so on. So here you're doing it one by one to change the shape if you wanna have a combination of splines and straight lines. The reason I'm getting this is I selected all these points individually. That's the way that you have this individual control over here. I am actually going to cancel out of here to show you a different method. If the points belong to a single array, single feature, then you can select them all together. Let's go to datum, curve, curve through points. And I'm gonna hover over any one of these points over here and then tap the right mouse button so the entire array highlights. I'll left click and there we have all the points in here listed on a single line. And then I can choose to have them connect to the previous point by a straight line. And that applies it to all of them. You also have a control here to add a fillet, which is the same as this button from the dashboard. And the fillet is sort of like how you wanna curve near that point over there. So you can see now that I have that, the curve is not going through each of the points in the array, except for the first or the last one. It's curving around a radius value from each of those points in there. Because of the geometry in here, I don't have the ability to control end conditions. I also don't have any options for tweaking the curve. I can change the name of the curve from the properties tab, but let's hit the check mark in order to complete that. I'm going to show you a different situation so you can see some of the additional options in the dashboard. Let me switch over to a different model. Okay, here I have a model with some boundary blends and a flat surface, and I need to create a new surface in between, and I wanna create a boundary blend. So I need some curves in my network that I can select. Let's create some datum curves for that. I'll go to the datum dropdown again, curve, curve through points, and I'm gonna select a vertex over here. You can select vertices. If I go to the placement tab there, you can see it over there. Let's select another vertex. And right now I am getting a curve. They're being connected with a spline. You could change the straight line, but if you just have two points, it's the same thing as a spline. Even with just two points, I can make this curve by changing the end conditions. Here you'll notice now I have the ability to choose whether I want to be free, tangent, curvature continuous, or normal. You can also use these circles on the screen for doing the same thing. I'll right click on it and maybe I want it to be curvature continuous. Now it wants to know what I want to be curvature continuous to. And I can select this curve over here. Then on the other end, maybe I want to make it tangent because it's just a straight line. And you'll notice in here, it's kind of hard to see with the angles. There are arrows indicating that the direction that the curve is flowing. Sometimes you can end up having these point to the wrong direction. And there we get some unwanted flip in the model. Let's flip back. Now it's going in the right direction. Because I have the curve in here, I also have options to tweak the curve. And then you have these tweak curve settings. And I'm a little careful using these. 
What it does is it gives you a control polygon around here. And you can grab these different points in order to move the curve. Before I do that, though, let's go to the diagnostics. And I can turn on display of a curvature plot by selecting it from the list here. You'll see that you have four different diagnostics that you can show. Curvature, which is one over the radius, radius, tangents, and interpolation points. Usually I just turn on the curvature, but I'll be honest, I don't use this that often. And so now that we have uh, these different points over here, so let me grab that one, let me try changing to the points over here. Here we have different points that we can move and I can try dragging them. Let's add in another point over here. So that is a drag point. And let me zoom out so you can see the curvature. You can see that because of the condition that we have, it's kind of tough to get this. You know what? I think I have that uh, curvature continuity is affecting me over here. Let me cancel out of here for a moment. Let me change this from curvature continuous to tangent. Now let's try modifying it. Tweak curve settings. Got the different points. Once again, let me go to the diagnostics and display the curvature. Now let me try, yeah, now it's allowing me to do it. I'm grabbing the points, you can see how you can smooth it out. One of the reasons that I'm not a big fan of using these different tweak settings is that it doesn't give you numerical values that you're controlling. You're sort of just like eyeballing it like you would do in ISDX. And if that's okay with you, you can use that. But anyhow, let's click the OK button. And in this particular case, we're using to vertices. Again, you can use a combination of vertices and points. Let's go to datum curve, curve through points, select a vertex over here, select a datum point over there. And again, I can say, hey, let's make it curvature continuous to this curve over here. And then over on this side, curvature continuous, I'll just choose the surface. And that way we're getting a curve with curvature continuity. By the way, you might want to have your end conditions be curvature continuous if you want the intermediate surface to be curvature continuous as well. Let's take a look at that. So to review my end conditions, I'll go to edit definition, and I can see that on the start, I just have tangency. On the end point, I just have curvature continuity. So this is going to cause a problem, which I'll show you. Let me take a look at this curve. Let's edit definition and go to the end conditions. This one is curvature continuous at the start and at the end. So we have one that's gonna be a problem. Let's try to create a surface with curvature continuity. So I will click on the boundary blend tool. And I'd like to select the curves and edges that are longer in the first direction. Select, select those two over there. I need to do a little trimming here. Let me right click and trim at, and I will use this datum point as the limit. Here you can see that we're just getting a straight surface. Let's add in our second direction curves. And I'll select this one over here and this one over here. So that is good. First, let's take a look at changing it to tangent. I'll right click and choose tangent, and it automatically selected that surface to be tangent too. In the other end, let's right click and go to tangent, and it does know what we want to be tangent to, so I'll select that. So everything is okay so far. Let's try changing this one to curvature, still good. And now when I go to change this one to curvature, there's a problem. It's trying to be curvature to that, but it's not letting me. And if I try to hit the check mark, it's going to tell that there's going to be a failed feature. Let me click, oh, no, no, I'm going to click cancel to return to the tool. Let's hit the dashboard. And let's just change it to tangent on the first side for now. I will hit the check mark. Let's go back to this curve. Oops, I got the boundary blend. Let me pick it out of the model tree. Let's go to this curve and edit definition. I'll go to the end condition and change this from tangent to curvature continuous. You'll notice that the shape adjusted. Let's hit the check mark over here. And now I can go to the boundary blend, edit definition, and change this from tangent to curvature, and it's able to be created. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. 
Thank you very much.